are gathered here today to participate in the dedication of the most important ocean energy experiment ever to be conducted by the United States government. The current energy crisis is fueling a worldwide search for power. Energy explorers are discovering that the largest reserve of potential energy covers more than 70% of the Earth's surface, the oceans. With ocean thermal energy conversion, or OTEC, Global Marine is developing this bountiful source of power. The concept of OTEC is simple. A working fluid such as ammonia circulates between the evaporator and condenser. Warm seawater passing through the evaporator gives up heat, converting the fluid to expanding vapor that drives the turbine. Cool seawater passing through the condenser converts the vapor back to a liquid. Global Marine Development Incorporated shows the Chapachet, a mothballed oil tanker for conversion to the OTEC-1 platform. After transport from San Francisco to Northwest Marine Ironworks in Oregon, the platform was fabricated into the Ocean Energy Converter. A large opening in the ship's hull will connect heat exchangers, furnished by TRW, with a lengthy pipe system to bring cold water from the ocean depths. Today, the Ocean Thermal Energy Convergence Project to prove that from the ocean we can extract energy to become competitive, doing the things that will help us meet the energy crisis. These are the kinds of things that make us feel and realize that our country is a great country. To meet this challenge, the Department of Energy contracted the men of Global Marine to select the best site for OTEC-1. Out of nine potential locations, a site 12 miles off Hawaii's Kuna Coast was selected. Here, Global Marine deployed the world's largest and deepest single point mooring. swept peninsula near Kauai High Hawaii, Global Marine had begun assembly of the cold water pipe for this revolutionary ocean energy system. Global Marine contracted DuPont Canada to manufacture 66 foot long sections of four foot diameter pipe. These sections were fusion welded into a triple configuration which stretched nearly a half mile along the shore. long, slow entry into the pristine waters of the Pacific, the ocean energy converter embarked for the OTEC-1 site. The excitement of seeing the ship leave the harbor stimulated the crew. When a breakdown occurred, it was quickly remedied by the engineer's creativity and the crew's dedication. The pipe crept carefully down a section of railroad track supported by wooden carts with RV rims for wheels, a cost-effective example of global ingenuity.
After five long days, the pipe stretched all the way across the harbor. Some windsurfers came to take advantage of Kauai high breezes and witness this hallmark of ocean engineering. systems were thoroughly inspected prior to the pipe's departure. In the Hawaiian tradition, a respected priest came to negate evil spirits. The appearance of a rainbow following such a blessing is said to promote good luck. Whether magic or coincidence, a rainbow appeared above the mountains and the following days at sea were unusually calm.